that's the entrance and exit to the museum zoology shop at Cambridge University. You do have a lift, but I'll take the stairs because you see exhibits as you walk down the stairs. So that's the lower ground floor. floor we were there or the ground floor of the museum so one more level down yeah so we have the evolution here the human evolution but uh, we have an, oh yeah, I found a QR code. So there's another QR code here. So you can check, you can scan the QR code with your phone, smartphone, and uh, chat to the platypus, freeze-dried platypus. And I guess ask standard questions, you get standard answers from the AI. That's quite good, but I'm not going to activate the QR. Just having a quick look here. So that's interesting. Island life, and that's a huge giant tortoise or turtle. Yep, giant tortoise. That's what it is. Huge shell. Sloths. Sloths, ant eaters, and armadillos. That's a popular one, I think. And then you have the seals, sea lions, and walruses. So, all very popular. And is this a dinosaur egg? Conservation of wildlife. Oh, okay, that's uh, Sir David Edinburgh's elephant bird egg. Elephant bird egg. Wildlife, Pacific Islands, rhino. We have another section through here. Discovery. So basically, you can spend a couple of hours here, and they also have a video here, which is good. You can sit down for a rest and have a look at the videos so basically we have about two floors uh, amazing ceiling video there of the water world you can see the underside of the sea creatures So that's the elephant. So basically, even if you're not uh, really into science and zoology, it's actually quite interesting to see these old ancient creatures. You don't have to be a zoologist or a scientist. It's interesting that these animals used to live on Earth. And we have their skeletons. I think these are all real skeletons excavated from various parts of the world. There's the rhino there. So a good day out, uh, with or without children. You can come here by yourself as well. That's your penguin. It's a nice penguin. What's the name there? Emperor. That's the emperor penguin. 
and an Antarctic sea spider. That's the Antarctic sea spider here. So I'm doing a few short videos here for those who haven't got a chance to come to Cambridge University and have a walk around the uh, Zoology Museum. That's another interesting flying dinosaur. That's the wings. Oh, they have an iPad here. Mammal teeth. So, another short little video. So there's a small one here. Interesting white-throated hummingbird. So, really tiny. It's so cute. It's amazing that they managed to get the fossils out. And the fluid preservation. Hypothermal vents. So again, we have a lot of these uh, sea creatures' shell life. And that's a spoonbill, the bird. That's the bill, the spoonbill. Anyway, it's good. Um, Oh yeah, that's another QR code, so one last one here. So you can actually talk to the uh, giant sloth. If you download the QR, you can ask some questions with the AI there. Have you tried the